Oh yeah! Welcome back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Today we're talking about the beautiful Disney film Encanto. I haven't seen it all the way through, but the visuals have been fucking breathtaking. But we're not here to talk about the visuals or the very mediocre soundtrack. Let's be honest. Gay soundtrack, not very good, even though it's doing very well in the charts. Am I a contrarian? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I am. <laughs> but this film is breeding a, how could you say, an unfavorable audience. People are thirsting over this character named Camillo and this person named Bruno. Camillo is 15 years old. Kinda young. And Bruno is a 50-year-old uncle who lives in the walls and talks to rats. And listen, here's the thing. People always brew lewd shit, cringe shit, all the time. It happens, but whenever... It, it, this one, for some reason, it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I think it's just the, the age difference, or I don't know what's going on, but it just feels a little... Dare I say, inappropriate? So you're probably thinking to yourself, ooh, wow, a 50-year-old man. Oh, look at this Pixar of Bruno. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him, he's so quirky. That's the real him! That's what a 50-year-old looks like! When is Pixar gonna give us real old men? Look at him, he's got a little blush, he's got a little five o'clock shadow. Do I think that little girls and other children are gonna think this man's sexy? I think... NOT! Well, what about cute little boys? When I was 15, let me tell you, well, this is a completely different story. When I was 15, I looked just like Roseanne Barr from the first season of Roseanne. Just a short, chubby, uh, 90s sitcom mom. That's who I look like. But you're probably thinking, oh, look how cute Camille is here. Camille, oh, he, look at him, he's so cute. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna kiss him, never mind. Oh, oh, look how cute he is, look at him here. This is what a 15-year-old looks like! Riddled with acne, fucking dopey. He just he's a, it's, 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 it's a child. He's a dumbass. Probably he probably says lit unironically. He probably listens to very main, mainstream things, and he's still so new to the world that he thinks that they're underground. Yeah, I like Fleetwood Mac. Do ya? Do you like Fleetwood Mac? Yeah, I like the, yeah, not a lot of people my age listen to him. Oh, oh, that's right, but the rest of the world does! So here we are. We have our, 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 our nephew, our child nephew, and we have our 50-year-old man. And the concoctions that people are making online are so vile. It's so cringe-inducing, so... Where's the shame? When did we, when did we lose shame? I was talking to my friend about this, and he said, Oh, well, I can see people drawing this stuff privately. And even then, it's like, huh? But then, to want to post it publicly, it makes me think, Why? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. But, let's dive in it together. Woo! Right after this sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Noom. It's no secret. <laughs> I'm a big guy. <laughs> I need to lose some weight. And you know what? Noom is here to help me get started. Noom focuses on the science and psychology of losing weight, not just some gimmicky little diet plan. It's jam-packed with features to keep you on track and keep you motivated during your weight loss journey. They have a meal tracker so you can count your daily calories. They also have an exercise logger so you can count how many calories you burn throughout the day, you fit little son of a bitch. They even have daily lessons to help you break all those pesky little bad eating habits. Ooh, one lesson that's really hit home with me is about thought distortions. I've always had a black and white way of thinking of, you know, you you mess up on one meal and it just completely destroys all your, your diet and you just said fuck it and you just, you, you, you Throw it all to the side. But with some of these lessons, it's nice to be able to identify some of the bad thinking patterns and be able to keep my mind on track and be make it more zen through this weight loss journey. You know, I, I, I struggle with weight loss as well. If you want a free evaluation, go to noom.com slash papa meat. Get yourself a little evaluation. The evaluation's quick, it's easy, and it'll help create a plan that's just, uh, it's just right for you. My, my little sweet, my little angel. Stay healthy, my friends. Back to the video. All right, so, uh, well, welcome back. Uh, here we go. I'm prepping myself mentally. I don't really want to do this, okay? But here we are. We're going in. This first one is Camilo is so, uh, so cute. And this will kind of give us a nice little understanding of what this is exactly. Let's see here. Oh, it's a TikTok. 
Can we even play the, the... I don't think we can play the deal. Just put over a... We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. So, I mean, this stuff is... Uh, it, it's forgivable. You know, it, it's it's just some nice little like, oh, Camilla was so... Oh. And it's just, a, it's just a person being like, oh, he's so cute. Which, sure. You know, your child... You think that's cool? Whatever. Nice TikTok cringe. Having a crush on a 50-year-old rat man. Relatable. Hey, do you ever have a you have a crush on a 50-year-old man who hangs out in the walls and is friends with rats? Yeah. Me too. Bro, who would even Oh wait, me, I would. The 50-year-old rat man. That's the problem with Disney though. They're not it doesn't look like him. Please don't be in love with someone else. Ew. I'm getting that cringe shiver. You ever get that cringe shiver? You kind of do the wave with your shoulders. You're like, you're like, ooh, <laughs> that was uncomfy. All right, we got a little art boy here. All these artists are so fucking talented too. It's crazy. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. He's so cute. Yeah. Beautiful anime renditions of my favorite. Nothing's fucking cuter than that shit, man. All right, so you know, we had some little TikTok cringe of people who enjoy the movie. Yeah, you know what? Sue them. They're having a good time. You know, who who am I to say they can't have a nice time? Let's see here. So now we're going to into some fan art. Oh, oh God damn, dude. Come on. Oh, my God. So this, I mean, this has to be censored. My fucking word. God damn it. How can I put this lightly? This is supposed to be Bruno, but he has a hoo-ha, as it were. And you see a you see a wee-wee going into a hoo-ha. And that is graphic. This is a huge step. This is this is a this is a not even a lily pad jump. This is not even a stepping stone. This is uh this is pole vaulting off the fucking planet kind of transition. There's a fine line of difference of being like, hee hee hee, uh, Camilo's so cute, look, I'm gonna draw him in a cute way to, uh, what, <laughs> whatever this is, man. <clears throat> oh, this is some good cringe. He's so small. My scrunkly, my scrimblow, my bipsy, my goopsy, my meow meow, my skaboink, my scribbly doinky, my dunkly, my wunkly, my wubbly bubbly. Put me to sleep forever, father, I don't want to be here anymore. Put me to sleep, dear father, this cringe has made me tired. Nice little song. See, now I'm getting into my Pixar roots. I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting that nice Disney money. I want my, I want my Disney check. Yeah! <laughs> yes! This is the fan art I'm here for. Look at his, his hand. Oh my God, the detail in the hand is so good. It, his hand looks translucent. It looks like a dead skin, like, uh, his, his fingers are kind of red to show some shadow, but it looks like this dead kind of uh, skin. And you can see the, the veins kind of trickling through his hands. And the anime face is so ugly. It's so good. He looks like a fucking alien. Oh, God. It's so good. Yes! Oh, God. Oh. I, honestly, this is so good. I love this. Bubba, Camilo, wait, we can't. We're, you really are pathetic, Tio Bruno. This feels illegal. <laughs> That's what this feels like. Why? It's it goes to the thing. What makes you want to put this out into public? We don't, I don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. And I'm scared to look in the comments because I feel like people are gonna say I like that and I don't like that. Oh my God! We can, Nick, we can't show this. My God, you are putting so much lewd shit here. I understand that it was supposed to be lewd, it's supposed to be, but it's too much. We're, we're, we're repeating the same thing. I don't understand why you gotta, why are you doing this? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 
We don't talk about Bruno. Here's the thing, too. A lot of this art is super well done. Incredibly well done. Far greater artist than me. But they just have a little stinky mind. Ooh, P.U. Why is your mind so stinky? I don't know. Uh, I, th this all smells and reeks of Spider-Man and Elsa. Kind of feel like those memes are going to come back around. So I have a challenge for you viewers. I want you to do Bruno <laughs> and Doctor Strange. What kind of wacky shenanigans are they going to get up to? I don't know. Who I? Hey. I'm not saying that I'm trying to be at the catalyst of those beautiful Spider-Man Elsa memes with Bruno and Doctor Strange, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I am. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, and also, sorry, I feel like I need a shower after this. I feel pretty, you know, disgusting. So I'm going to go take that shower, and I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. See you next week. Bye-bye.